What's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Sekiro Kita Edition. And let's go ahead and continue forth on my quest down a mountain path along the side of a mountain. So I switched up the volume a little bit, which might make my life editing a little bit easier. Just to quickly show... Wait, no. Auto lock on. I don't think I ever used that. I'm confused. I, I, uh oh, let's just go back to the default. Sure, that's what I've been using. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, anyways, so I switched the music to five, sound effects to three, and voice to ten. I had voice to ten, but music and sound effects were both at uh. Actually, I'm gonna do four and four. They were both at seven before. So hopefully this will help a little bit with me balancing audio properly, as opposed to needing to do it in post, which is a little annoying. Um. Because, I don't know, I always like to have the the, volu the audio of the voices to be about, like, actually louder than the rest, so you can hear it properly. And I don't know why Souls games do this a lot, where I always have to pump up the voice so much as the default, so it matches the rest of the audio of the game. It's dumb. It's stupid. That's what I'm trying to say. It ain't good. I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm always right. Right, Wolf? Right! Just like my timing on that. Oh, there's another wolf. Hey, wolfo. Boo! Yeah. Alright, so a couple ways you could try to sneaky sneak here. Uh, main way is really gonna be jumping in this river here, which has some more magic carps in it, so let's take them out. I think there's two. Yeah, there's the other one. Now, if they do disappear, they will respawn, just so you guys are aware. I don't think I mentioned that before. But, yeah, so... No, slowly building up my skills. How many do I have now? Speaking of which, six. I need seven for the mask fragment. Uh, which uh, is one of the more important things you can get. That that vendor's not going to be the only way to use magic carp skills, but there's no reason to hold back for that reason. Let me put it that way. Uh, you don't need to hold back on his sake or anybody's sake for that matter. Uh, I think that guy up there is probably going to see me. Is he? Oh my god, he doesn't see that? Huh. All right, I always thought he did, so I, I avoided killing uh, that monk over there for that reason. And wow, I can actually turn up my own volume on my TV a little bit too, that's nice. Um, I always have it down because I don't want the volume to bleed over into the gameplay. But it seems to be doing all right. Okay, so which one is best to kill here? I'll just go for this guy. I mean, the guy on the left might see it, but maybe not. Maybe not. They're kind of dumb. It's funny how stealth is in this game in that sense where you can murder somebody in that sense pretty close in vicinity to somebody, but once they spot you, they will just track you forever. But up until that point, their tracking is kind of, or they're just noticing of you is kind of crap. So, again, I consider this, and I think I said this before, a stealth light game. It's very stealth light. And, yeah, I think this is actually most of the enemies in this little spot. Granted, none of these were, like, the hardest enemies to kill. Like, the ones with the cloaks. Oh, he's got his foot up. Oh, how cute. Ha! Popping his the foot up. Um, most of the enemies in this area aren't really all that difficult to kill. In IMHO, <laughs> in my opinion. I, I mean, like, those hooded ones aren't, at least. They're not difficult. So, notice that there are some assassins over here. Those are the Senpo assassins again. Uh, that's what I'm trying to avoid here and kill from the rooftop. You know what's funny? Last time I was playing the game, I didn't have my axe equipped to the auto equip, and I forgot that you can just switch out at any point. I thought I had to go back to a, a idol to switch it out for some reason, and I really screwed myself over against one of these guys, which I'll point out later. I thought for some reason... Oh, there he is. I knew there was one over there, and I was like, where the... I was just shocked I wasn't seeing him. Maybe he just jumped up. Maybe he doesn't always patrol up there. But yeah, I want to take care of these rooftop assassins. I think it's going to be the stealthiest I've ever done this, actually. I've never done this good of a job stealthing this portion of the game. So I guess just knowledge of the map always helps for these things and knowing where people are. I mean, actually, you know what's funny? My first time playing this, I did a little bit better of a job stealthing. I think primarily because I was being so cautious. And then the second time I played the game, where I was a little more confident, it was like, eh, I don't have to be that cautious about stealthing. I just kind of can play through and just have fun with it as I go. 
I don't always like stealthing this section this hardcore right away for, uh, well, I guess the reason I should go to pretty shortly. Oh, is that another dude there? No, that's just a, just a thing to cling on to. All right, I think these are all the assassins around the rooftop. There are some guys down there. Did one of them just see me? Yeah, it sounds like it. I need to up the music a little bit so I can hear stuff like that. That's actually kind of important. Uh, what I do want to do before I do some other exploring is I actually want to go here since there's a mid-boss in here. I think he's one of the easier mid-bosses in the game, personally. In fact, I would say he might be, in my opinion, the easiest of the mid-bosses. But you do need to do some clearing out before you go and fight him, which is what I'm going to do right here. Now, I do have a, a move where I could now swing at in the air and attack, but I've tried it before on the rafters here, and it just sort of a lot of times can swing you off. I don't think I've mentioned this before, but if you're walking on a ledge, you ought, you won't fall off. Notice how I'm just walking. Sometimes if you're running, the game will pop you off, but if you're just walking, you won't. So, um... You know, anything where you're actually jumping isn't always the best idea for that reason. Okay, so this guy's gotta go... Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't want the boss guy to see me yet. You can see me later, boss guy. Honestly, I I'm gonna show you how to kill him the easy way, but I could... I think I could pretty easily kill him with both health bars. Like I said, this this boss is, in my opinion, one of the easiest mid bosses. But I want to show uh, I want to show how to do it if you're struggling. So hopefully, how I do against him after I take off one of his life bars will show that for the long arm centipede senun, uh, I got it down pretty well. Gonna exit for a moment just to reset the boss. There are some enemies who are gonna run at me from here, but. I don't think any of them are a very big deal. How many healing cores do I have? Five. I can't remember if I haven't upgraded all of them or not, because I so don't always go back. I'm like, eh, whatever. I won't go back. It's half of my decisions are, eh, who needs to? Who needs to? Well, there's a bunch of poison lizards. I think there's a bunch of dogs here. Slash wolves. Yeah, there's a whole den of them. Whole den of them. All right. Which, hey, as long as you... Harry can get some of my health back here. So it's just difficult figuring out who to parry. Uh, are these lone two? Nope, there is one there. I was worried about that. Okay, which which one's gonna go for me? You want to go for me? You both at the same time? That's just crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, dog. Somebody just saw me up top. Oh damn! I screwed. <gasps> Oh, it was you. How did I not get hit by that? I don't know. I I got really lucky not getting hit by that. Where'd the lizard go? I want to kill him and get my health back. Ah, oh, well. Fine, I'll kill you and get my health back. Oh, I was I was targeting the lizard I was just talking about. Okay, now let's kill the lizard and get my health back. I think I got full health at this point. That's nice. Let's go into a mid-boss with. 2,800 gold, getting close to my goal of 3,000 where I can buy the kunai. So if anyone watched my Let's Play, I didn't know what to do with gold at first, and I had over 3,000, and the ability to go ahead and buy it, but I just hadn't found a vendor yet when I had over 3,000 gold, and then I died five times in a row or something like that to the ogre mid-boss and lost all my money. And right afterwards, literally right afterwards of losing all my money, I found that vendor, and I was so upset. And I hadn't bought gold bags because I hadn't discovered that strategy. Oh, I don't know why I didn't... That doesn't always seem to work on him for me, the target drop, so you can't always just fall behind him. Okay, so basically with... Whoa, whoa, shit. Oh my god. I even remember that all you have to do with this guy is jump. Like, his only, uh... His only strike that's not one of these fast strikes is a jump one. Shit. Remember when I said he's the easiest one for me? And then I did the worst I've ever played against him because I'm recording, and that's just kind of how things go. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, there we go. Now I got. I actually got to start doing some strikes on him. <gasps> Fucking come on! No! No, no, no! If I lose my money to him, I will be so upset. Not to you. Any mid-boss but you. 
You, I'm not okay with that happening with. God damn it. Come on. <laughs> I'm place. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you. I'm genuinely pissed off right now. Because I was just trying to untarget him and targeted someone on the ceiling and it threw me off so bad. Well, there goes all my money. I don't, and I also have my experience. I was close to getting a skill up. Lost upon death. Uh, experience towards skill. Right, so now I can actually go back to uh, Emma. So there's that. All right, I'm just going to quickly go to him. I, I, I'm so pissed off about that. I'm going to go ahead and kill him this time without uh, doing the with his two hells. Like, I just want to prove to myself that I'm not that bad. Like, I've, I've never died to him, ever. Ever. <laughs> and there's a couple mid-bosses who are like this, and I never have trouble on them, so that's why I'm so pissed off right now. Alright. Even my first time playing the game, I had no issues with him. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Uh, okay. Cool game. Don't work for me. That's, that's alright. Oh, he just fell. Fine. Fell through the rafter. Yeah, so the main thing you have to watch out for with these guys is the burn damage that they do. Um, yeah. You know, I was considering not playing tonight since I have a bunch of episodes in the bag, but... Because I'm playing a different night, and I should have just stuck to my instincts. Stuck to my instincts. Apparently I wasn't in the right mindset to play the game. Alright, screw you. Okay, and let's heal up. There. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Nope. Let's heal up this stuff. Oh shit, I meant to jump on him. And I didn't mean to do that attack either. That was a mistake. That was my 01 R1 attack. Really? I'm jumping off of the wall. Boom, 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 boom. All right, there's one. Let's get a heal off before I tackle him again. Boom. Nope. What? Nope. Gotta stay on him. Oh, so he actually, uh... So he doesn't recover his uh, stuff too fast. No, 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 no. Oh, rolled against uh, statues. That's what killed me there. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right. That basically screwed over all my stuff I'd done to him, but that's fine. The more he does his red thing, it should the better. There we go. I'm still pissed though. I'm still really pissed off. I don't think I'm gonna get over it. <laughs> I'm honestly gonna be angry the whole episode about this. So, anyways, another bit boss defeated. Got another prayer bead. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and what do I want to do? I was gonna go to the dilapidated temple for some reason. Oh, because to get the ammo lore. So let's go to the dilapidated temple, and then I'm gonna go ahead and quick cut through clearing out the area again, so you guys don't have to watch it all over again. Uh, last community, the lap data temple, sure. Also, something to note when you use this, it, it's really slow, so if you're struggling with a boss fight, you're probably not going to be able to get out in time, because the bosses are really aggressive. I tried it once before on a boss, and I can never, even a slower boss, and I can never get out of the boss arena after multiple try times trying to get out. It was actually it was against Robert's dad. This was during my stream that I tried that. Uh, okay, so let's see if Emma has something new to say, which I believe she should at this point. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. This power, it's said to be those who have been... Let me... I don't think that... 
Ah, I didn't even get anything for it. <laughs> that sucks. I'm black. I don't think I have a gourd seed. Just wanted to double check. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and fast cut it then. Uh, and then I'll see you guys when I've gotten about the same progress as I was at last time. So see you guys soon. <laughs>welcome back everyone to me still being upset <laughs> so i cleared everything out i have 2,000 gold so that means i've basically lost over a thousand gold and i'm once again i can't buy the kunai i am don't have enough money for kunai again i think this is just the joke of my life right now the joke of sekudos every time i have enough for money for kunai i die to this time it's super easy mid boss and screw myself over so yeah uh, anyways, I cleared all this out, so uh, I started going down the different path and remembered I wasn't supposed to do that because I haven't shown you guys that yet, so stop clearing it out and just uh, try to make sure that this was all just legit in the now type of stuff. Yeah, so there's a bunch of dudes in this area. I don't really care about the monks so much. What I do care about is that up here there's going to be a uh, one of the Taro troop guys. Oh, what the hell? Sometimes the camera in this game just is not great. That's a thing. Yeah, these guys really aren't bad. I just want to make sure that I only have one to deal with. He's like, oh, I feel like something's happening right next to me, but I'm not sure quite yet. I have no idea. There's a lot more of these statues. I, I think those are the... Have I gotten them? Yeah, the bundled Jesus statues. I think those are Jesus statues. Small Buddha effigy bound in red cloth. Raise in prayer between one's palms to restore no to resurrected power. To insuate the Jesus statues, express feelings of parental love. The bundle of cloth is to at least ensure that the little one goes on in peace. And I think that these are Jesus statues minus the cloth. There is something up on this bonfire, but it's not that important, but just to show it. It's a fistful of ash! Dream come true. That's what I really wanted. Uh, okay, so... Cleared out the roofs here. And... So this is just another way to get to the roof, basically. And this is how you can return home, so to speak. What the... I thought I was gonna just jump towards him. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go here. What I do have, though, is I got way more skill points. So it goes to show that, I guess, at this stage in the game, you get more skill points per kill than money when you die. I mean, like, that was easier for me to make up by far. Because I think I died with, like, just about having three skill points, and now I have six just from making it up. For And all I did was kill the same dudes. I didn't kill anything more, really. Wasn't there another guy? Oh, how did you die? Oh, well. Notice that there's another one of those undead dudes right there. Uh, so this is... But he's a little different. And I'm going to see if... I think you can tell just like this. Uh, he actually has a big centipede on the bottom of him that you can kind of see. But because this game is weird with the binocular where sometimes it's blurry. It, I was also going to make fun of that in my super show. Um, 
Sometimes you can't see that. But yeah, so he's got a centipede coming out of him, which is actually kind of important. Uh, Lore-wise. So that is something that's definitely worth noting. That centipede. Lump of fat wax, by the way, is just a decent upgrade material. So I can, again, with this, there's not really much reason to fight him because you can't fully kill him. So honest, and you're not going to get anything out of it. So I just recommend don't, not doing it. So the path that I didn't go through, that I, the other path, let's go ahead and do that one down this side of the mountain to the left here. Now there's a couple ways you can go down. One is this way, and uh, just so you all know what I did before was I killed one of these monkeys. There's another monkey resting here, and I was like, oh shoot, that's right, I'm not supposed to do that yet. So you can actually see the dead monkey right there that I'd already killed. Uh, and that was that's what I did off camera that I hadn't done before. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry I screwed up so bad. Let's get a Mibu Possession Balloon. You know, in my head, I was thinking like there's an area I really wanted to go to after I finished this part, but I can't remember what it is. I guess that's kind of the fun though, is just progressing and just letting it sort of happen in a way. Uh, yeah, so again, there's just a whole lot of more dead bodies in this area. Which, like I said, I haven't figured out yet, but I think tonight's when I'm going to start actually writing my, uh, we're kind of writing my lore videos. So that might help as I start to like reread item descriptions and think about all that. Because that's really, when I write the lore videos, it helps me a lot because I'm rereading item descriptions, putting them together and such, and uh, really thinking it through as opposed to just playing and absorbing it. Granted, I don't think uh, this game's this game isn't like Bloodborne or Dark Souls. Like I said, the game, the lore is really straightforward for the most part. There's just some background stuff that's not 100% explained to you. But as far as the actual story goes, it's right there. And even most of the background stuff, it's mostly right there for you. Uh, this like ledge, all it's really for is just showing a ton of dead bodies again. I jumped up here to try to avoid the Tato troop guy, so I could try to. Uh, so I could try to death blow him from the top. Not that style of death blowing, please. There, there he is. Why won't you let me target him, game? There we go. I'm sorry, Kotaro. In my head, they're all Kotaro and I want to cry. Maybe part of the reason I haven't been making my money back is also because... Uh, a lot of the enemies I've been killing have been ones who don't carry money. Oh shoot, I got a persimmon there, which I'm going to point out. And actually, this whole tree, you can tell this tree has persimmons. That's a nice touch. I never noticed that before. But it's actually a full persimmon tree. Persimmon. A red ripe persimmon ready to eat for a time allows one to recover posture even when attacking or taking damage. Ashna persimmons are particularly nutritious, perhaps because the trees grow in such pure water. Persimmons become blood, blood becomes rice. This may be of help to one short of blood. Uh, so this is actually important for uh, one of the endings of the game. So that's just note that this is where you get one of the persimmons. There, there are a couple of persimmons you get, and I think you can actually farm them too, if I'm not mistaken. But this one you auto get. You only need one persimmon for this specific end of the game. All right, so this is the other end of the bridge that we were talked about last episode, where there are those enemies I'm so bad at fighting. And a couple Buddha statues. Cool. I don't think there's anything up that way, really. Like, honestly, all that's really down here that's worth getting is the persimmon and just some enemies and, you know, gold pouches. There's really not too much in this specific area. It's just uh, nothing really majorly important, although I guess you could call the persimmon majorly important for that ending. But again, this isn't the only spot you can get it, so... Um, at least I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure there's... pretty positive there's another spot, because I know in my other game I had two. And I don't think I got both of them in this spot. There are a lot of monkeys in this little area, though. So if you want to fight monkeys, here you go. Here's a spot with monkeys for you. And cool. Yeah. Oh, there we go. One last thing I missed. I think that's the last thing I missed. I think. Could be wrong. Could be mistaken. Could be deadly, deathly mistaken. No! Uh, let's see... So, this is actually a whole bunch of shortcuts, and if you're trying to speed run, you actually don't have to do that mid-boss at all. You can jump up here, and then you can go to this spot up here and completely skip a whole bunch of this area of the game. Uh, and yeah, like get some stealth kills on enemies as they come from this direction. There's an enemy up there too. 
uh, who's gonna s try to stop me from getting the stealth kills I want. You asshole. I can't believe he actually got me there. Whatever, I'll come at him from the other way. So, there's another way you can go, though, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Where, just to show you all the different directions. This was the guy where I realized I forgot the axe and I was just having trouble killing. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. I still don't have it equipped because I'm dumb. I don't know why I was having so much trouble killing him, but if you had the axe, he's super easy. You can just take off his hat and death blow him. And let's properly heal myself. Get away from the poison. And yeah, it's just again, just yet another direction you can do to uh, to bypass enemies or just another shortcut route, really. So this is that area with the bonfire again. And this will actually shortcut me to the guy who was being an asshole to me so I can stealth kill him. So yeah, this game just has so many different directions and routes you can take. If you want to do stealth, uh, the game really is built a lot around that. Yeah, so now that I'm fighting one of them, I can show you just how easy these guys are. Basically, what they're going to do is throw these little bomb things at you. And when they, they are dangerous, so you want to get out of the way of them. But when they blow up, that's it. That's all that they really do. So you see it, you're like, all right, let's get out of the way of it. And you're good. They're better. These Those specific enemies are better. Um, well... More dangerous, I should say, when there's a bunch of enemies around you. That's when, like, a bunch of other enemies that you're trying to deal with, that's when they really become dangerous. And they start singing, let's get dangerous, Darkwing Duck. Because they know how dangerous they are. Let's get dangerous. And I'm like, who you think you are? You're not, you're not a Disney cartoon. Dark Soul, you're a souls e. you're a FromSoft game, that's the opposite of Disney. You know what I feel about Buddhism? That! I'm pretty sure these are considered Buddhist monks. Oh, who saw me? Oh, it's just a normal monk. There's more of the super dangerous ones that I hate up there. <laughs> but I will show you an easy way around it, maybe. Maybe. Man, they really do give you a lot of experience for this point in the game. Level ups do take longer and require more experience for skill points. The more you get like a standard RPG, so you can't just find an enemy who does a decent amount of EXP and grind them, because eventually it's going to just become super tedious and time-consuming to do that, and just sort of worthless. So these guys right here, uh, the guys who I so, so hate, if you open this door, you have iframes while you're doing it, so they actually can't hurt you while you're opening this door. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And there's also a place to rest here. And sometimes this guy's mean to me and sometimes he's nice to me. So I don't know what triggers either of them. But yeah, there was one time I talked to him that he was nice and one time that I was me that he was mean. So hopefully he'll do the nice thing because this is what I wanted to get. I wanted to talk to this guy. This is why I wanted to go here early. Uh, one really important thing to note, even though this is going to be blurry, is that he is uh, infected. That's really what that indicates, is that they're immortal and infected, and he has all the centipedes coming out of him, too. Oh, children of the rejuvenating waters, forgive me, that child. She's the only one left. She must be lonely, trapped in that room by herself he must be so lonely <clears throat> you there who are you what business do you have with Sempo Temple oh oh I know now I get it how you get this dialogue so one of the times I played all it had was say nothing and ask about the special holy person. If you remember that there's that lady at Ashina Castle at the bridge when you first enter, who's like, "There's a holy person at the top of, at the top of Sempo Temple." 
so talking to her is what unlocks this bit of dialogue right there. Ask about the special holy person. I'm 100% certain now. Because talking to her for the Let's Play now where she talked about it, I was like, huh. I think I even mentioned it where I was like thinking about it. I was like, huh, I wonder if that's what unlocks the bit of dialogue. And apparently that is. I'm told that a special holy person lives here. Remarkably holy. That would be the child, I imagine. She's not here anymore. It's my fault. The child, she's confined within the inner sanctum. It's impossible to see her now. I see. Uh, are you a shinobi? Mm. Mm. If that's the case, then actually, I have a favor to ask of you. The child wanted to know. The reason for her fate. If you do see her by some chance, please give her this. It's the least I can do for my own atonement. And we get the holy chapter infested. A passage describing a journey to enlightenment. For an age I have been blessed by the worm. To be undying is to walk the internal path to enlightenment. Thus I must become enlightened to understand why I cannot die. It is said the holy dragon's origins were in the west, so I wonder how did the worm come to be bestowed upon me? So holy dragon would seem to relate to dragon's heritage, because now we're getting the dragon connection, right? And this guy who's giving this to us, this piece of text, he's now calling that he's been blessed by the worm. Uh, you can see that he has the same goopy gut stuff at the bottom of him, and I think if you zoom in properly, you can see kind of like the centipedes in his mouth too. I believe that centipede that we saw in one of them, that is the worm that he's talking about. Um, and being blessed by the worm, it would seem that that's what's causing immortality. I cannot die. But even though they're immortal, it seems that similar to a hollow in Dark Souls, they do still degrade, right? In terms of their consciousness and their bodies decaying like a corpse would. Um, but there's a point where I would... It would seem to me that they lose their humanity. They, they aren't who they are anymore. It's almost like, yeah, you live forever, maybe, but you're not really you anymore. right? It's like you've completely lost yourself. Like At that point, it doesn't matter because you are just you don't exist anymore. Now it's just this worm. It's almost like I think of it like a virus, like, um, like the centipede thing, the worm. To me, it's in there. This is also where the infected, as you can see, infested. This is where the infected version of... Um, of being undead comes from to me it's like a that virus that mushroom virus that you might have seen with bugs where a mushroom gets in there a spore gets in their system and then a mushroom grows from their head like and it kind of like alters their brain chemistry and they're not really the bug anymore it's something else so i think of that as the same thing with the centipede but it's just a slower manifesting version so maybe he is living for longer but you can see he's already rotting away and he's probably going to lose himself at some point, like the ones that we've encountered before. All right. Is there something else? This temple. It's no longer a place where decent people should be. <laughs> oh, that smell. So you're the one who works for the divine heir of the dragon's blood. That's right. The divine heir is truly exalted. But exalted or not, man is still man. Oh, I'm so foolish that I didn't understand that myself. Don't. Don't leave your divine heir on his own. Leave. It's too late to regret once you've already lost them. Is there this step? Mm. So you're That's the buttocks. So don't leave. All right. Um, so a couple things up more I want to mention with this is that can I kill, hurt him? Nope. Okay, I can't hurt him either. Although I am seeing from my let's play, um, I was looking at actually comments while he was saying that, which is why I rechecked it out real quick. 
Uh, according to Roger Lost, you can kill certain NPCs like the merchant guy in the past in Hirata. I was actually curious about that one specifically. You can attack the surgeon in the dungeon as well. Uh, that I didn't realize. So I'll have to test it out. Um, and the monster he creates. That never happened for me. But I I'll have to look into that. So, anyways. Uh, also, yeah. So... With this guy, if you haven't talked to that lady and say do nothing, he won't give you this holy book, Infested. And you need this book to continue one of the quest lines for the uh, for one of the secret endings of the game. That said, it, he'll disappear at one point, and you can still get the book when he disappears in a different way. Which I'll explain when that happens. So it's not, it's honestly not a big deal at all if you don't get it. Like, don't worry about it. If you missed him, you can still get the book. It's not, it's not a big deal at all. So no worries. You are fine. Don't stop freaking out. I, I can hear you freaking out right now. Stop it. I've actually never gone all the way up to this part of the rafter, which is why I was kind of checking it out. Dragon's Blood Droplet, uh, which we still don't know anything about. I, who Ignore you saw that. Although most people would. I guess you have to die a couple more times for the thing to happen. So, uh, hopefully that's my last death, though. <laughs> I doubt it, though. There, there's, like, a, there's a boss, the one at Hirata, I, I probably will die to at least once. Okay, so here's more of those guys who are infested, but fully infested. As you can see, these ones even have the centipedes growing out of them. We have a door that doesn't open from this side. Fine. Um, but we can go ahead and just pick up all the items anyways. Black gunpowder... Go sugar, get away from me, centipede thing. And again, they just aren't worth killing at the moment. And uh, pellets, cool. And actually, these ones are the ones that spew out cockroaches. And I think the ones who spew out cockroaches just aren't as far gone. That's my personal opinion on it. I, I could be mistaken, but I was trying to see like how much guts they have. But I think, because you actually see them spewing out little mini centipedes when they vomit on you. Or at you, as you can see. So I think that it's more of a case of they just, they're still degrading and the centipede version is one who's fur even further degraded, right? It's like the furthest degradation of it. You didn't see anything. You saw nothing. How did he hear anything? I hate these guys. So much. Yeah, so there's actually three of these guards out here of this kind on this side. Because there's that one, and then there's two over there. So, there's a decent amount. Make sure you go through this passage, too, and you'll see why. It's actually something we're going to have to go through yet another time for um, for one of the secret endings. But, yeah, just bear it in mind. I like that it's even lined with more Buddha statues, too. There's so many Buddha statues in this game. There's an article I started reading about how the game is connected to Buddhism and the themes of Buddhism as religion, which I just don't know since I've never study buddhism beyond like um just beyond like historically it's it's spread and things like that so that's something that i do want to read up on because i'm sure it's probably important towards the lore of the game too since there's so much um or just at least the themes thematically for the game are there any caves yeah there we go here's a cave but i think it all leads to the same place anyways i don't think that this cave has too many secret paths going out from it do you cave? Do you cave? Do you? Oh, I think it's just to kill this guy, I guess. So he won't jump out at you. Okay, so yeah. The, if we come the other way, we would just drop down here. Which might as well show, so it feels fully explored. So, actually, I guess this is also the way back up. If you want to go back up as well. In terms of like this specific path. So yeah, if I kept on going this way, you can see it's just a drop off to the same area and you lose some health. So yeah, nothing nothing too major there. I keep on feeling like there's something that I missed over in the area where there's the two guards that I didn't want to kill. <laughs> but it might just be the two guards. I and I keep on forgetting to upgrade with the fact that I have seven skill points to use. Something that I think is worth noting is that um, if you die, you lose half of your upcoming skill point but you don't lose the skill points you already have. So you just lose the experience towards your next one. So, yeah. 
Like, I would always have those seven skill points. I'd never lose them. All right, so in here we see more of these uh, monks who are undead. Oh, that's right. It went black because it's considered a cave, and lighting is all weird, and the Nightshire Martinocular just works really weird. So I guess it's just considered to be not enough light in the cave or something. But you can see that now here's more of these guys, but they have centipedes all over them, but they're just fully decomposed, and they can't do anything. They just seem to be completely dead, and here would seem to be a special one by how his cloak is different and everything. But point is, I think this is what eventually happens even if you have the centipede in the worm. I think you do. To me, this indicates that you actually do fully die at some point. Like, the centipede takes over your body, you lose who you are, you become one of those things, and you actually do die. Uh, I don't think it's actually immortality. I think it just extends your life. And then it's, again, just being infested, like the name is implied, but being infected by a bacteria almost that you lose yourself from. But, you know, there's a quest for mortality, man. Do what you gotta do sometimes. As long as you live a little bit longer. So if we go into this Buddha shrine, we'll find a Sempo Esoteric Tax. So another one for skills. For Sempo style skills, those are the Sempo Temple Master Martial Arts in the Pursuit of Virtue. They consider strong fists and strict discipline essential against Buddha's enemies. However, Sempo Temple was seized by an obsession for the undying, which corrupted their teachings and style. Uh, and again, that's obviously what's we're seeing happening with the infested and everything. But we'll find out more about how they did it later, since this is pretty much everything we can do in Sempo Temple at the moment. So we, we have to come back. So at this point, Sempo Temple and the rest that you can do is locked off for story reasons. But hey, at least we uh, we fully explored it. We got some things. We got some prayer beads. I died and got really pissed off. You know, all the fun stuff like that happened. All of the fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wanted to check how much Divine Confetti I have, actually, to see if it's worth going towards that one enemy. I still only have one. Still only have one Divine Confetti. I wonder why in my one of my games I didn't have any trouble finding it. So I wonder why I'm having so much more trouble now. Oh, damn it. I was hoping to stealth through one of these guys at least, but totally failed. Totally failed. I hate them so much. You know what? Maybe if I get them to stop noticing me, they'll they'll back off in a certain way. Where then I can I can just stealth kill one of them. I don't I don't mind trying to fight one of them right now with the health that I have. I just don't want to have to do it for both of them. But one of them I can deal with. Okay, one of them is returning home. Ah, damn it. Yeah, he's just gonna go right back to how he was, right? <gasps> yes! Yes! You're so screwed now that there's only one of Oh, you got a bulging coin curse for killing him? Totally worth it. That's how hard they are. They have to give you a bulging coin purse for it. Which is worth a thousand gold, by the way, if you don't know. So, they know, apparently. They're like, yes, this is a very difficult fight that you're doing. That's their acknowledgement right there. So, I wonder if this guy's going to give me anything or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. One thing I do think is really good. Oh, shoot. No, 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 jump. <gasps> I actually don't have that much health. I probably should have rested again, but eh. Maybe, hopefully he's hurt enough that his, uh, he won't regain his posture too quickly. That's the main thing. Whoa. Oh, he's regaining it. I mean, granted, like, it's really hard to pull off a hit on him. Even one that just, like, hurts him, um... Yeah, idiot. Get wrecked. By that, I mean I'm not doing anything to him. Well, it seems like if you can stop him in midair, that's actually a good way. So maybe, uh, Shuriken's actually good to just toss at him when he jumps in the air. I wonder if that'll throw him off too, as opposed to just the blade. Like, right there. 
Nope, doesn't. Oh well. It was worth a shot. No! Why must you be such a pain in the ass? Dude! <laughs> Stop flipping around so much, man. Stop it! You can only really get two attacks on him, too, before... Okay, knocked him down. I guess that's the thing. If I see him go on his pole, try to knock him. Because that'll actually be the way. Alright, nice. Actually got the second one. I wonder if he gives you anything, or just... Okay, wait, he does. What is it gonna be? Go kind of trigger. Oh, that's not a big deal. But hey, one of them gives you a bulging coin purse, so that is definitely worth noting. Uh, so yeah, at the moment, we're just above where we saw before the last... Uh, the last Sculptor's Idol, so... I think that's everything up in this little section here. I guess I'll go ahead and kill the monk just so I can fully explore it, but... I'm pretty positive that that's everything on the ledge here. But since I can actually look right now without worrying about those guys, now's the time to check. And look at that, 8 skill points, and I almost have 3,000 gold. So maybe I should just sell some of my light purses, just buy the kunai and not be angry if I die. <laughs> you know? Do that stuff. Alright, let's acquire some skills. I think I want a mid-air combat... Actually, I don't care about mid-air combat arts, I take it back. Uh, vault over is decent, I guess. Actually, no, it's not. I don't care about it. Let's try to get Shadow Rush. I actually like Shadow Rush. Shadow Rush is pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, the Castle Gate. Or, sorry, the Stairway just to buy the Kunai. Try to get it done. And then from there, I'll try to, try to decide where I want to go and which direction. Because there's so many ways, even though I can't go one of the ones I want to go yet. Maybe maybe this is actually the time to do the Hirata Estate, actually. I could go ahead and finish that up. And maybe I'll just happen to get um, the confetti over there that I want. I want my confetti, man! Granted, there's a couple other directions I could go. You know, I'm going to go a different way, actually. I just want to change things up. I'm going to throw people off. You're going to be like, where are you even going? And I'm like, yo, just changing it up, man. I'm just changing it up. But first, I'm going to get some money, hopefully. So I only have to buy one gold pouch. Because I'm cheap like that. 22. Oh, man. Oh, man. I only wanted to sell one. Yeah, so this guy's so easy when you have uh, when you have your Makiti counter. Okay, I just need to kill one more of those dudes. Is there anybody here? Yeah, actually, there's a bunch of enemies over on this way, so. You know, I'll quickly try to take care of these dudes. Somehow he didn't see me, and I was sprinting at him. Again, that's just how weird it can be sometimes with the way it works. Okay, so now I only have to sell one gold pouch, so that's that's fine enough for me. I don't need to kill anybody else. Gain the kunai, don't have to care about dying anymore. Granted, there is the mask that costs 5,000, and gourd seeds, and other things like that that you can buy from people, but I'll get it eventually. Oh, that's right, I have to sell. Oh, can I not sell to him? Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna grind some money real quick. And, uh, I'm gonna fast cut it again, just so you guys don't have to watch it. Oh, hey, I'm back. So all I did was I rested and I cleared out that area past there one time. And that gave me 100 gold, which gives me enough to buy the Phantom Kunai. So let's go ahead and get the Phantom Kunai. Bam. Done. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll find out actually soon here because that's the area I'm going to be going. The direction I'm going to be heading. So... Like I said, I could go back to the Hirata Estate right now, but we're going to try to go another direction through Ashina Castle. How many prayer beads do I have? One? Okay. Ashina Castle. Start at Ashina Castle. Most of the di directions you can head, not all, but most of the directions uh, at this point. You can go to the Ashina Reservoir, but most of them require you to get through a bit of Ashina Castle. 
which is what I'm going to do here. And we'll go to the reservoir later. There are a bunch of things to do with the reservoir that I want to do. So many things I want to do. So many things, guys. It's just so much. It's just... That's what happens when you first start playing a new game and you want to type out. You're like, oh, but there's this and there's this and there's this and every direction has something I want to do. Prosthetic arts, you say? Oh, <gasps> prosthetic arts. Uh, okay, so... It is funny to see all these guys up there with no one to talk to them. Are you guys lonely? Oh, well. Sorry that I killed your general. Again, I honestly think that you are the biggest scourge on Ashina. <laughs> that they've ever had. Genichiro made a serious mistake screwing with you in the beginning. Because you've killed Yobu, you've been killing his generals, you've just been completely murdering all of Ashina and everything that they had as their resistance to help them survive any issues. So... Sekiro, the Scourge of Ashina is the new uh, title for the game that I'm going to give it. Bye. Ceramic shard. Cool. That's all I've been wanting in my life. Yeah, there is another area down there. I don't think there's any items in this specific one. Uh, I don't think. But yeah, there is another spot down there that you can go check out and look at. But I'm not seeing any gold things or sparklies, so... I think the guy is right here. Yeah, yeah, cool. This area was really difficult for me at first, but I learned a method for dealing with it because there's two of these guys up here. Um, and it's just kind of dealing with two at once that I was struggling. But if you run over here, typically only one of them is going to come at you at a time. And again, since they're just so easy to deal with, if you just slam R1 on them, like you will completely obliterate their... Uh... Okay, you will usually completely obliterate their their uh, posture just by spamming R1 on them. You can deal with one at a time. And that's, yeah, that's how they get up here. And I actually want to kill this guy in the corner here and I'll show you why in a moment. Good, good, good. Before I go over there, let me make sure that there's not any sparklies I missed. Yeah, you know, there's there's probably sugar because people hide like to hide, um, people like to hide sugar on rooftops and birds nests in this game. So, the f okay, I guess it's pellets. So the thing that I find really funny, uh, or that I, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty cool, but I noticed this guy on, during my stream, before anything happened, that there's this, that's one of the night jar on a kite, poised to attack, right? And I noticed that it was on this string that's attached to the rooftop, and I was thinking like, oh, how cool it would it be if I ran up and just like, cut the swing string before he like, got to me. That'd be awesome, right? But uh, I didn't know he was gonna fly off like that. And he auto he killed me in one hit. Because I heard the scream, but I didn't know what was happening. And yeah, that's what was happening. I'm sorry I, I stopped looking at him. I, I didn't think... I don't know what I was thinking. Because I wanted to show his full flight down. Because it's kind of cool to watch. But oh well. I goofed, guys. I done goofed. This is actually a pretty easy area to just run through, too. Like, if you're running, he won't get you. I do wonder if you can cut this drink. Wait a second. Someone's going to see me. Never mind, I'll go check the string later. This is a good spot to try to stealth if you can, just because there's a whole bunch of night jar in this area. And uh I'm trying to yeah, it's like it can be difficult to get around them. I'm trying to remember what the best method was for it. Oh shoot, this isn't this isn't it. Maybe I went through this way. Because you can get around this one up here without him spotting you. But I don't remember exactly how I did it. Maybe, oh. Check that out. And maybe I can pull him off. Stealth kill. Yeah! Okay, this isn't how I did it last time, but it worked pretty nice. Didn't get any items from him, so that kind of sucks. I want that gold! Yeah, there's just like night jar all over here. So if you can, try to stealth this so you don't get overwhelmed by them. But you can see yet another one right here. There's the guy patrolling down there. Like, seriously, they're just all over the damn place here. Hopefully I can... Nice, nice, nice. And... I know there's another one over here somewhere who's yelling and mad at me. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there he is. 
R1 spam for the win. R1 spam, I'm Ouroboro the ninja. You send him that song. <laughs> and whatever, he beats me in Dark Souls 1 whenever we PvP, so. He can't be too offended. He knows the truth is that he always ends up winning. Dead Crow? Dead Crow. I don't think there's anything down here, but I'm just gonna show it off that there's nothing down here. So it's just a little courtyard that you can drop in, and there's some lizards, and I don't care, and I'm not I'm not gonna fight them because it's not a big deal. I did want to try to cut out this string, so I wanna try it out before I forget and see what happens. Okay, you can't. That's a shame. That'd be really fun if you could. So yet another night jar, one up there who will screech at you when you get to about this corner. Honestly, I think it's better just screw it and say, screw it, I don't care, and avoid them. So, whatever. Screw it, I don't care, I'm avoiding them. Doesn't matter to me. Let's go ahead and rest at the Sculptor's Idol. I did miss the treasure chest, which I'm going to go get back and get, but first I want to stealth kill a bro who's in here. I'll never see it coming. Just since he does that little loop every time you rest. Okay, so in there's a prayer bead, which I'll grab in a second. I mean, sorry, what what is it gonna be in here? I don't I have no idea. Oh my god, it's a Gortzy. I was wrong, it wasn't a prayer bead. Gortzy is way better. For now. I mean prayer beads are great. You obviously need those. Well, I guess you don't need them, but I I'd say healing's better. So never mind, Gortzy. That's actually that's pretty pretty dang good. It's pretty dang good. This area is good to just stealth. There is an area down in the middle which you will want to eventually explore. At the moment, I'm not going to worry about it because there's a couple uh, midpoints that I want to get first. If he turns the corner, he's not going to hear you, but I think he can hear you if you stealth kill her before he turns the corner. This guy right here. These guys are really good for practicing McKitty counters, by the way. So even though I'm stealth killing them, or a bunch of them, I recommend trying to at least fight some of them just because it's going to be good practice. So, yeah, like right there, he, just as I said, I was like, he's good for McKitty counters, and he did one. Thanks, guy. Trying to help me out with my let's play, make me not sound like an idiot. Oh, there we go. Alright, so what we have right here in front of us, actually, let's grab this first and I'll show you guys in a second. Let's finish exploring the room. Uh, okay, so we could go up there, but instead, what I'm going to do is break everything. Because you can break all the things. <laughs> and just run the fuck through them. Is if you see a scroll on the wall, not all the time, but a lot of times it's actually a hidden passage that you can go through. And yeah, so I think this one is a prayer bead, if I'm not mistaken. Unlike my, my horrible gourd bead mistake. The gourd bead mistake! People will call it and shudder. Heavy coin purse. All right, cool. And yeah, there is that extra heavy coin purse. So make sure to smash all the things so you don't miss it. Because all the purses are really good for when you're trying to upgrade late prosthetic, late game prosthetic tool stuff or buy like a dragon mask or what have you. Even though this guy's much easier to kill than that dude, we're gonna do that and then run and kill the lady here. And once she's dead, what I would recommend is actually just trying to iframe through here. So those, see those guys over there who are alerted? They're more of these guys and I really don't want them to see me yet. So I can just deal with one guy at a time. So you come here. I, I don't mind dealing with him and having a real battle. Just don't want to have to fight. Uh, whole bunch of dudes at once. Where did they go? Well, I guess we're fine. Okay. Let's, let's actually get his stuff a little down a little bit better. I keep on expecting him to do the Mikiri counter thing. So I'm like, oh, there it is. There we go. No, it was a roll. I didn't realize I was stunned in that manner. And I just dashed, but I was too late. That's what most of the problem is with my dashing, is a lot of times I'm too late. But I still press it. Like, you saw me dash. I just, I guess I was too late for it to count. Which can be frustrating to me, because I feel like, well, obviously I got it, because I dashed. But, 
Guess I didn't get it good enough for the game. Wow, I actually died to this guy? How embarrassing. Shit. All right, screw it. Apparently I need to practice. <laughs> That's what this is saying. No, 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 no. Shit. Roll, roll, roll. Your boat. Nope. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently as down the stream. I, I'm so defeated. I'm going to sing fairy uh, kids songs. That's how you know I have been. I have defeat. All right. So there's a couple guys over there. Also, actually, let's just point this out now. This is a secret passage. I just want to point that out. Uh, <laughs> just because it's kind of cool and fun. And yeah, now we get another rest point, a sculptor's idol for the Ashna Tower Upper Dojo. Or sorry, the Upper Tower Ashna Dojo. There's gonna be a mid boss through there. What is my stuff like right now? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go fight him. Why not? Since we're about done with an hour. And uh, that'll be a good way to end. And then, well, I'm going to drop down to the middle, too, before I wrap up. So I'm not honestly very good against this guy, and he should be an easy one. Because he always does the same thing over and over again. But I'm just being honest, man. I'm not I'm not that good at him. Yeah, so he always does that. It's just that if I mess up, and it might just be because I have the, uh, the demon bell on. I'm not sure. But if you mess up the parry, oh, sorry, the parry timing, he always hurts you. And, uh, yeah, I actually have more trouble with this guy sometimes than I do against other bosses in the game. Oh, damn, I was hoping I could trick him and get a, a, a free kill on him. And the thing is, he always flashes his sword before he does it, too, which is what bothers me even more that I can't pull it off. Like, it shouldn't be that difficult to do. You could maybe hear my tapping, but I was a little late on it. Oh my god, I'm pressing it. It's just... Obviously... No, 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 don't roll that way, you idiot. I'm doing this on purpose, because I need deaths to progress the story. Like I said, honestly, worse against that guy than some of the bosses of the game. And now I can't tell if it's going to be a lore death or if it's, which isn't a bad thing, but this isn't the way I want it to happen, man. Because it'll take me back. I don't want to be taken back. Okay, cool. Alright, Broza, let's get a couple free hits on you. Okay, one free hit. Oh my god. You have to be so quick with that. Like, I'm seeing the shining thing, and I'm pressing it as fast as I can. I'm still screwing it up. Nope, jump, jump, jump. Nice. That is the kill for one of them. And hopefully I can hit him a couple more times. Nope. Shoot. I try to... I was trying to get my health back so he didn't just auto-kill me. Please don't count as him getting his health back. Okay, good. That's good. Although, I do want to try to use a pellet if I can. So I don't, uh... So I have a little more... Heals left. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom. Nope, jump, jump. <laughs> jump, jump. Heal, heal. Okay, nope. Shit. No! I'm so bad against him, and he has all of his stuff back again. Nope, jump. You idiot, you idiot. Why didn't that get rid of any of his, uh, stuff? Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, it's so nerve-wracking to me because I'm so bad against this guy. But at least I got it. So, prayer bead for that. Now I have three. And, uh, some important stuff over here. Hanging scroll of an old battle. Ghost once lurked the lands of Ashna. The Ghost Lightning was one of the Fountainhead Gods, was of the Fountainhead Gods, unstoppable by normal means. Avoid ground, reverse the lightning. And, uh, lightning reversal. So this is actually a really important technique. 
Or if you jump in the air when a lightning strike comes at you, you can actually grab it with your blade and hit it back at the enemy who shot it at you. It's going to come really, really important. Uh, another thing that it talks about is it coming from uh, was one of the Fountainhead Gods, the Ghost Lightning. So that's actually going to be something that we're going to be seeing later in the game, so keep that in mind. Eel Liver greatly reduces the amount of damage received from lightning attacks, as well as the shock status. Lightning is a force of the gods. Eels, while smaller, are relatives of dragons. Even the gods' force can be suppressed, though probably not for long. Uh, and also, obviously, important to note that you're getting it at this point, even though we're not going to go to that point for a while. There's a lot of things I want to do before I get to that point. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and rest, and I'm going to drop down that middle area. And then uh, when I wrap that stuff up, go ahead and use my Gourd Seed, and uh, I think that'll wrap up this episode. Where I just did not do great this episode. A couple actual deaths. The, the one to that mid-boss just now was not unexpected for me, but that Centipede one I'm still reeling about. I don't know if I'll ever get over it. That's how upsetting it is to me. Yo, your beating is adjourned. So yeah, if we go uh, through here, this is actually going to be the entrance that you saw before to where all those enemies were uh, and where the general was. So the general that I killed, the mid-boss at the front of Ashina Castle, is over down this way. It's going to like piss off everybody right now. The whole of the Ashina army is angry at me right now. I mean, honestly, if they didn't attack me, I wouldn't be attacking them. This is just me on the defensive right now. I did not want this. I'm just going to state it for the record. I did not want this. Oh, no, 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 no. That's some, that's some shit. You can't have two once on me. I don't even exist. I am but a ghost. Can I get that guy? Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really feel great, because I'd rather just kill him, but properly, but since there's a couple enemies. Granted, I could have killed this guy and done it right, but whatever. I'll be a baby about it, and it'll be fine. Because look, this is just teaching you guys techniques, okay? This is how you play the game. You gotta use the proper techniques. Use resurrection to your advantage. Can you go up this one? I guess not. So yeah, this little spot's actually going to come more in handy a little later in the game. Uh, I, I should say more important to note a little later in the game, but that's fine. More eel liver. Again, probably important to think about the fact that you're getting a bunch of them here. Probably. Just throwing that out there. Sabimaru, an ancient Kodachi short sword. Its blade modeled or molted with bluish rust can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool forged by the ashina clan to resist the inhuman evil that had invaded ashina in times long forgotten it was the poisonous gift of the blue rust that finally drove the spirits out i should never realize that that actually might be really important in terms of how to fight spirits but basically as far as my knowledge of that blade goes it does a lot of poison damage but i wonder if it's good for spirit enemies i'm actually not sure on that front something I haven't tested or tried before to be honest so if we go the other way this is the uh you might have noticed it before but the little pond or I guess other side of the moat you could say uh from the rafters of the rooftops. so up there is the side of the rooftops where the antechamber was at and this is now the bottom of that area that's going to lead to a couple more sections that we can explore Coming from this way is pretty good, because you can get a stealth kill on this guy, who's pretty... He's one of the more powerful enemies. Uh, and also, since we're here, there's an important conversation that I'm going to go and get, which is these guys who you can eavesdrop on. You're saying we don't have enough salt? Yes, sir. We use it for cooking, of course, but we also use it on wounds and for purifying the dead. So at the rate people are dying... We're out then? Yes, sir. That's why many on the battlefield are falling ill. I see. We'll need to find a way to get some salt then. So, there you go. That's what the samurais want, is salt. So now we can relay that info back to our merchant friend. And, yeah. 
something that we can do. And we also get the old grave checkpoint at this point, as you will see in a second. That's the old grave. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Lapidate Temple, give the Gourd Seed, uh, and equip the Sabi Maru. And yeah, I guess that'll wrap me up. So it seems like this is like almost like the Blood Burrow in the last place where I always wrap it up back at the Dilapidated Temple and be like, let's just, let's go finish at the Dilapidated Temple. Why not? Hey, Emma, what's up? I'm glad you. Anything new? No, I gotta die more? It's the okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. You need? Yes, I do, in fact. I need to upgrade my... Oh, wait. I don't want to upgrade. Sorry. I want to fit a new prosthetic in the Sabi Maru. And something worth notice, noting is, if you remember, I got Monkey Boos. So this is a way to get lore from... That's all the different sakes. There's different sakes. That's all they are for the game is getting lore from various NPCs. But <laughs> once I have more, we'll kind of do it all at once for some of the NPCs. And yeah, so that's going to wrap up this episode... So thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate it. Sorry about my frustration early on. Even though I'm still reeling about it. Reeeee! I'm so angry. See you guys next time. Later, guys. Peace.